in my pursuit to shrink my live streaming situation when I go on events, churches, and stuff like that, I didn't want to take a full monitor like I normally do. And that's where we introduce a portable monitor. So let's go ahead and check this thing out. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by. And on this channel, we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So what we have right here is the Toposh Portable Monitor 15.6 inch with USB type C, full HD 1080p IPS screen. Perfect, or also has built-in dual speakers, and is compatible with laptops, Raspberry Pi, gaming consoles, the whole shebang. So, what I plan to use with this to be to use as my main interface for the um, desk mini that I'm already been talking about. That's going to be for my live streaming system. So instead of a whole system like I normally be, would use, now I have my stream deck, I have the A10 mini, and I have the desk mini and then we're going to introduce this portable monitor so let's look inside and let's see what comes inside of this and it literally just came here so let me put my picture and picture on all right so let's see what comes in this we have a usb type c to what's that type a whatever um typical connector all right Oh, that's great. I actually have, I've been looking for one of these. I was gonna order one anyway. It's a type C to type C cable. Looks good quality. That's cool. Man, they gave you everything. So I didn't need, don't need to order anything in addition. This also comes with a mini to full size HDMI cable which i like i said i already had one for my nvidia shield but that's cool that i have another one and a power brick which has usb c as well might try this out on my um phone and that's pretty much it now we got a little manual here it just tells you what you got to do and then you have the screen. Now I like this because again, this is meant to take up, it's a little bit bigger than my iPad. Here's my iPad, so it's about <laughs> double this. So this should give me a pretty good size screen with this. So I'm excited to see what that is. And again, the main thing is I need it to fit inside of this bag or bigger because I want to keep this is what I normally use to carry all my camera equipment um, outside of the suitcase I used to take for live streaming but I'm looking at getting a bigger version of this I mean it's still gonna be a suitcase but it's not gonna be a suitcase if you understand what I mean but it's gonna be big enough to where now I just got to drop the these little devices in here and I have everything instead of having to run around with a bunch of other bags and things like that so let's Bring this down just a little bit. All right, let's see. Very nice. Really straightforward. Now this is built, has a built-in kickstand with it. So the idea is I can use this where, when I'm in the media um, press box at stadiums or something like that, it's really small compared to the whole footprint of a monitor that I would normally use. So, like I said, let's pull it to the side here. As you can see, you have two USB-Cs. Looks like one of them is bent a little bit, but I think that's the case. Then I have a USB micro right there. Then we have an HDMI mini. All right, and let's see. And it looks like these. this is connected to the stand. You can actually remove it. There are screws here to remove it if you want it to but I really have no need for it. And it got two speakers right here. So we're gonna test out the quality of that. And that actually will alleviate me having to bring headphones with me as well. 
So let's go ahead and connect this to the desk mini because that's what I'm going to use. And then I might even connect it to the PlayStation to see what that might look like. So let's go ahead and get this all set up. HDMI mini plugged in, plugged in, start. Now let's see. All right, there it goes, finally. <laughs> that was weird. Push it back a little bit more. Wow, that's a very crisp picture, 1080p. Now, where's my, oh, my portable little keyboard here. So let's see, I'm, again, like I said, I'm liking this. Maybe my keyboard needs to be on. All right, so this is, I mean, really clean looking. And let me connect the, this back here. So I have the A10 Mini as well. So I should get the exact same thing on this screen as to what is being recorded right now. So let's go ahead and open up OBS. Very cool. So this is... So this is gonna be a very viable option. I just need to hammer out this whole startup process. Um, other thing is they said it does sound. So let's see. All right, not the greatest of sound, but I mean, I'm getting something. Um, obviously when I'm in a public event, it's kind of hard for me to hear it anyway, but I mean, it's nice that it's just so small and so compact. Um, what I'm going to do is probably test this with some other stuff. I want to see how if it'll work with my phone, but based off of what I got so far, I think this is probably all I need now for my whole miniaturization of everything to be done. So we have the monitor, we have the ATEM Mini, we have the Stream Deck, we have the Desk Mini, and now with the camera that's right here, even though, I mean, well, the tripod, and I normally have the Sony with me, which is what I'm using right now. This will be my mobile live streaming setup. The only thing I have not covered is what I use for connectivity when I have none. And normally I use my phone as a tether, but when I finish with everything, I will show you the final masterpiece of all this put together because I need a bag right now that will fit everything. But that is my um, little review and unboxing and all that stuff of the Toposh Portable Monitor 15.6. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to play with this while we're talking. Let me hook up my PlayStation, which I still have on, and I want to see what this looks like. And I have some days gone, but you can hear the sound. Really nice. So this is kind of cool for a portable system as well, too, for like your game consoles and stuff like that. So um, again, originally this was meant for like a secondary screen so that you could actually hook this to another like a laptop or something like this. And again, this is I got this for about one hundred and twenty dollars. So this is really, really cool and really, really nice picture. Uh, I would bring up some Disney Plus, but I'm not going to do that. But anyway, I hope y'all like this little view into finalizing my whole portable system. Now, again, based off of what I'm using right now, I think this would be very nice of a system to use if you um, obviously need it for a game console or if you need this like at a church. Now, what I would really love is to see if they have a touchscreen version of this, then you can actually get rid of the keyboard, which would be kind of cool. But anyway, I hope you like this type of content. I will have a link to the description and a product link to this exact model that I am using. Um, again, it is affiliate code, so we get a little kickback if you purchase that. Helps us fund this channel and keep getting awesome tech like this that we can review for y'all for your media ministry or for you personally. So anyway, if you like this type of content, I appreciate a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. This is AJ. We will see you on the next video. Later.